The cost of buying things in St. Paul has gone up. A new sales tax has gone into effect, raising the city's sales tax to the highest level in the state. WCCO's Alan Henry has a look at where the money is going and why the mayor says it's needed. Very different winter this year than we had last year. This time last year, lawmakers were debating whether or not Minnesota's capital city needed more money as it emerged from a long winter. Our streets were pretty busted up from a tough winter, uh, and it was really clear what happens uh, when you take streets that have a 60 year expected lifespan and replace them on a 124 year replacement cycle. Approved by voters in November, a 1% tax increase is now in effect. The city is calling the new penny for every dollar common sense. We know that the track that our streets have been on. Uh, ha, just has not been sustainable. That's common sense. A sales tax very uniquely gives us the, gives uh, those visitors, those commuters, uh, an opportunity to invest to help maintain those critical pieces of infrastructure. The one percent increase is expected to bring in more than a billion dollars over the next 20 years. Three fourths of that will go toward more than 44 miles of road across the city, including Grand and Summit Avenues. Uh, the last time Summit Avenue was fully reconstructed. Uh, Taft was the president and car ownership in America was just under 3%. The funds will also go toward parks and rec facilities. Carter says the goal is to build more than new infrastructure. If we just kind of take this as an opportunity to say, well, we're going to take up the old concrete and put down new concrete in all the same places where it was 100 years ago, we'd prepare our city for a vibrant and thriving 1925. That's obviously not the goal. We have a funding stream that will provide almost a billion dollars over the next 20 years to reset our city for the next generation. Alan Henry, WCCO News. Construction on Grand Avenue is expected to start in the coming days with tree removal. Grand Avenue itself will close sometime this summer.